I'm standing in our driveway and directly behind me in what occupies about one parking space are thousands of trees or at least a thousand trees growing uh, in containers completely protected from rodents and we can retire all of this in the fall and be able to collect enough trees from here to plant out many acres of food forest all from a parking space on asphalt. I'd like to explain how we've set this up. Basically what's going on here is we have what are called air prune beds. And I talked about this a little bit in previous videos, but what I'd really like to do is link here to my good friend Akiva's video about air prune beds. He's been doing it a little bit longer than I have, and he was the person that inspired me to look into this in the first place. Basic idea of air prune beds is that you take a taproot oriented tree, for example, uh, walnuts or chestnuts, and you grow them where there's a mesh of air underneath the bottom of the box that they're growing in for a season. When their taproot hits that mesh of air, it prunes lightly that taproot and helps them encourage to form an incredibly fibrous heart root system. So this system not only allows us to grow seedling trees for one year as a nursery on literal asphalt, the least agriculturally viable space you could ever possibly imagine is asphalt. And here we are able to grow these trees for a season. Not only can we grow it on this media, but we're also getting way more fibrous, way healthier root systems. Let me show you the details on these boxes. In my case, what I opted to do was to design two types of boxes. One that is two feet by four feet. What I want to suggest is that this isn't uh, a specific rule, that it needs to be two feet by four feet. But what I think is worth doing is from the outset, considering a modular design where if you have smaller units and larger units, that they match each other. So for example, this two foot by four foot box occupies the same space as four of our one foot by two foot boxes. So these are, this is four feet by two feet and there's four of them. These smaller boxes are movable, which is kind of nice. And what's also nice is now this very simple frame, which is made out of scrap lumber. In this case, it probably won't last super long, but I just wanted to trial it. This is old plywood that I had and scraps of lumber that this box matches a four foot by two foot space. So you can see if I take this off and I put it on this empty box, you can see how it matches up. And I made it two feet tall with the idea that for a single growing season, the trees growing in this most likely will only get about two feet tall. Although I may have misjudged that, some of these chestnuts in the beginning of June are already halfway to the, the lid, so we'll have to see. But you can see here's a chestnut box. I talked about this in a particular video oh, a few months ago where we had chestnuts sprouting in our root cellar. And so I potted them up in this box. Now this is heavy, but it's manageable. I can move this around. And in this box, there's at least 100 chestnuts they're growing with incredibly fibrous root systems in a deep living food web soil. There's a biochar, there's wood chips, there's mushroom spawn growing in here. So it's a, a natural media. And in the fall, we'll be able, once they've dropped their leaves, to simply pull them out of this box and either transplant them, sell them, or heal them in for the winter. Here's a box that's four feet by two feet that I put a riser on. And let me take this lid off and you can see. So in this particular box, what we have are some incredibly happy, happy baby hazelnuts. They're densely sown in here. And there's some weeds, I could pull them. I also don't mind having a few in there. You can see there are probably three to four hundred hazelnuts in this four foot by two foot space. And for their first year, they'll be absolutely happy with this. What you can see is that down below is the box that I mentioned, which is four feet by two feet, which has a hardware cloth on the bottom. I'll show that in more detail in a moment. 
And then I made these simple boxes, which are four feet by two feet, that have no bottom on them. So I can stack them. So I took an eight inch tall box and made it 14 inches tall, which is a huge amount of soil media. With average rains, we shouldn't have to water these at all, especially now that they've closed canopy. Going a little deeper into the construction of these four by two beds. In this case, what I've got here is white oak that happened to be four inches tall. And what you can see I've done here, very simple butt joints and the mesh that I've used on the bottom of this, in my case, I went for one inch by half inch uh, fencing material that was two feet tall. I found this at a local hardware store, not a box store. It's stronger than hardware cloth, but it's also fine enough that with some uh, wood chips and debris on there before I start filling with potting mix, it'll hold that in. And you can see the way I've adhered that mesh is with runners on the bottom made out of black locust. Whatever the bottom course of wood is should be a rot resistant and very strong wood. I would dissuade all of you strongly from using pressure treated lumber anywhere in a project like this, but the locust with pre-drilled holes screwed down into this frame holds this mesh really strong. I think a box like this may last 10, 20 years before I have to replace it. I can have either four of these one foot by two foot beds next to each other with a mesh cap over them or one of the two foot by four foot beds with a mesh cap. They all match each other and all of them use the same basic system for keeping them just slightly off the ground. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little, well, enough air space that the roots of these plants will not go down. They certainly can't root into the asphalt but they'll hit that air mesh and be pruned lightly and continually. And I simply have bricks under the smaller boxes. They share a brick in a few spots or scrap lumber that's uniform just so that air and water can move underneath these. In the fall, we'll pull all of these plants out. We'll do a follow-up video on how they performed. And just food for thought on an asphalt or very questionable or toxic site or a place that needs to be temporary that you'd like to grow thousands of trees. I would guess I've spent a hundred dollars in hardware cloth and fencing and screws and this system should last us at least 10 years and we'll evolve it over time. One parking space at least a thousand trees from seed and we can retire all of this in the fall and be able to park here in the winter. Hopefully this is exciting for folks out there. If you try to make something like this, please share some notes. How did it work for you? Share photos with us, share links and videos. Thanks for watching.